we have fantastic engagement with our customers. We have Bob Phillips is the president of what aficionados affectionately call CalTour. Based in Rockville, the chain has 38 restaurants. California Tortilla just unveiled its new look at the original location in Bethesda. Phillips says the rebranding is not just about a new coat of paint and a change in decor. We really want the focus to be on the food. Traditionally what we, what we used to do was we'd have really bright restaurants, really colorful restaurants. Customers would come in and they would just look around. Now they focus on the food. And, and if you're a restaurant, that's a good thing to have people focus on. California Tortilla was originally founded 17 years ago by Pam Felix and Alan Cohen. <laughs> Phillips came into the picture in 2002, and in 2003, he and his partners purchased the California Tortilla trademark and started franchising the company. Today, there are more than 700 employees, some of whom have been with the company since day one. Yeah, I've been here since 1999. 1999? Yeah. Wow, so why have you stayed so long? Great owners, <laughs> great owners, that's why. California Tortilla's world headquarters is in downtown Rockville. Montgomery County, he says, is a good place to do business. We've had tremendous uh, support. We, we've had um, council people come to our office and, and talk to us. We, we've had, yeah, it, it's, it's, been, it's been great. It's been a great environment. One of the reasons we have no intention of leaving the county. The restaurant is known for its wall of flame that features 75 types of hot sauce. This is good stuff, but it's hot, but it's good. And for the infamous pen used to sign credit card slips that's held to the counter by a large heavy chain. But in all seriousness, Phillips says, the priority is to offer what the consumer of today craves. As far as we know, like we're the only company that uses, for example, um, number one avocados, you know, Haas avocados. It's a, we could save a lot of money if we were to purchase a lower quality product. And you know, you think you're just grinding it up and making guacamole, what difference does it make? But it really makes a big difference. You know, there are, there are tomatoes on the market called salsa tomatoes or B-grade tomatoes. They're not as good as 100% as Roma tomatoes that we use in our, in our salsa. It's, you know, these things sometimes slow down our growth, but we, we don't want to give that up. I mean, that's an important part of who we are what makes us proud to get up in the morning and go to work. So it's, it's really important that we stick to those values. In the rebranded Bethesda location, an exhibition kitchen was installed where customers can see the ingredients being prepared several times throughout the day. She's getting, look, those are the Haas avocados, right? Those are number one Haas avocados. And where do you get those from? We, we have a local produce supplier and they, they come generally from California. Okay. So she is slicing them up. One of our partners is a, uh, a trained chef, oh. and he's created all the, the recipes. You either get it right or you don't. Well, we always get it right. Yeah, it's good. Rama, did it take a lot of practice? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I bet it does. Our policy is to make our, make our foods in small batches all throughout the day. So, so this guacamole will probably be used at the end of lunch. Oh, wow. Everything's done by hand. That's amazing. The real secret is using the right ingredients and making it frequently. Yeah. Thank you. Though most folks refer to Caltor as a Mexican restaurant, Phillips says they have a broad clientele, and that is what has helped them remain successful even in a down economy. Mexican food, food is very, very popular today among young people, among people my age, your age, every, you know, all ages love Mexican food. But you do have competition. How do you work with that, um, you know, to keep yourselves ahead of the game? It's a great question. You know, actually, we compete with many more companies, restaurant companies, than traditional Mexican burrito restaurants. We are competing for that lunchtime, dinnertime business with all restaurants. So it, it's it's very um, it's challenging. Montgomery County, in particular, DC market in general, has become very attractive to competitors from outside. 
Oh, really? If you keep an eye on the, the little exhibition kitchen, you'll see them making all the sauces, all the dressings, all the salsa, the guacamole. So we hope that our competitive advantage is we know the market, we live here, we, we have been doing business here for 17 years. So we hope we have a competitive advantage in, in, in terms of understanding what our customers really want. And I think as long as, as we stick to that game plan, the competition is not gonna, not gonna bother us. California Tortilla also markets to an email list. Those subscribers receive the company's taco talk that allows them to push promotions. Phillips also told us over the years they have increased their charitable giving in the county through Mana Food and Share Our Strength. It's all part of giving back to the community that has been so good to them. What do you see, where do you see yourself in, in 10, 15, 20 years? <laughs> Well, you know, I hope we stick with our, our core values, you know, which is providing um, a great quality product and buying only the best ingredients and treating people correctly. And hopefully if we do all those things, we will achieve growth. Uh, and, and growth is really what we would like to achieve. I, I think a, a larger company gives us more opportunity to make a bigger impact in our employees' lives and, and in our shareholders' lives. I mean, it's just, it's, growth is important in a company. And that wraps up why this Montgomery County business can say more than 5 million sold and still counting.